Welcome to Music Palast. Do you recognize that song? Well, it's the Metal Gear Solid main theme. And today we will talk about a controversy regarding this very song. This theme was iconic throughout many years and many games of the franchise until Metal Gear Solid 4, where it was dropped due to similarities to The Winter Road by Russian composer Georgi Svidirov. But first, let's rewind back and learn a little bit about the story. This theme was created by Tapi Iwasa, aka Tapi. This theme's first apparition is in its original Metal Gear Solid. This motif appeared on many trailers of the game as well as during the game. Continuing this tradition, they kept using the motif for trailers of Metal Gear Solid 2. This time the motif was arranged by Harry Gregson Williams. Then, during Metal Gear Solid 3, they started including the motif in other songs of the soundtrack. After this, right before the release of 2006 Portable Ops, it was discovered that the Metal Gear Solid theme sounded very similar to a classical piece from Russian composer Georgi Svidirov called The Winter Road. Take a look at this famous video of Hideo Kojima's reaction while listening to The Winter Road for the first time. <laughs> Later on, it was revealed that Konami decided to avoid legal problems by removing the motif in future games of the franchise and even the 20 year anniversary music collection of Metal Gear Solid 3, which should have included the theme. Now, let's take a more in-depth look at both pieces of music. For the beginning of the main theme, we can already see that even though they are not identical, both melodies share some melodic ideas. Here we can listen to both of the intros of the main theme and the winter road. For starters, we have in bar 1, the winter road descends from the 3rd to the tonic, while the main theme descends from the 5th to the 3rd. In bar 3, both versions arrive to the 5th and then descend to the 4th. On bar 6, we have both versions arriving to the 3rd one octave higher, followed by a really similar melody. Like I mentioned, there are some similarities. For example, a couple of focal points of the melody follow the same path in both versions, even though, to arrive to those focal points, they both use different ornaments and melodies. We can already hear that both melodies sound related, but the big punch comes later on. Now, let's take a listen to both versions of the main melody. I think the similarities here don't need much analysis, but let's check it out nevertheless. Here we have both music sheets. We even have both in the same key signature. Both main melodies doing the same phrasing and everything. Chord progression is also almost the same. 
we can see how both versions play this little melody starting in G and ending in D, and then a second melody which starts in B flat and ends in F sharp. The only small difference we have is at the end of the passage, where the main theme uses the same structured melody but starting in C and finalizing the section on its tonic, G. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and drop a like down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.